Hello and welcome to this another video session. My name is Mahmood and today I'm going to talk about Java polymorphism. So what is Java polymorphism? So Java polymorphism is the ability of an object to take many forms or shapes. It is a fundamental concept in Java programming language, especially in object oriented programming languages, which allows objects of different classes to be treated as if they were of the same class, thus providing flexibility and extensibility of the code. Now, uh, there are two different types of um, polymorphism in Java, which I'm going to, um, this video is focusing on. So the first type is, for example, this overloading example. I just prepared a small code snippet for it. And the other example is, um, I will also add it here, it's like uh, overriding. Okay. Now, what is overloading example? Let's see this together. So we have, so for example, I have defined a class uh, overloading and I just here give it a single method name here. And there in the main class, I just uh, created an instance of this class by using this new keyword and the class name with using the uh, round brackets. That's how you define an instance of object in Java. And finally, if you use the method overloading dot display, as we have the name of the method is display that is defined in this class. And uh, so for example, here we are giving it an argument of integer type and we name it as num. And we are basically printing this statement and adding the num at the end of this string. So that's a very minimal example of this overloading example. Let's see that this is, we, we print this on the console. Now notice what happened if we copy this method and instead of integer, we are using another string and string name. Name and finally one more method the same uh, name and there we are giving it two different values like int number and string name and basically we give overloading example here we give for example integer overloading int overloading int argument with integer argument with string argument and overloading with two arguments and finally here simply give the num plus a gap between them would be like something like this and yeah notice like still it is like it is printing the first one because i did not call the other two methods now what happens if i simply copy the method and now instead of string i'm just giving my name for example a string and the final method i'm just giving both of them and when i run this program again i can see that i can able to print all these three different behaviors of the same display method so this is the example of uh, the overloading where you have to define each and every um, possible definition of your uh, single method based on the different arguments you provide along with it but now let's see another example of uh, the overriding example. So for now, I'm just deleting this class again, just to make it a little bit cleaner. And there I'm also removing this all this stuff. Okay. 
Now, uh, let's say I'm just going to create a class. Animal. And inside this class, I have defined a method, for example, public void make sound. And this method, like I'm using this uh, void method, uh, void uh, modifier, which means that it does not return uh, the type of the method, which does not return anything. So this so the, the, this public is uh, this is the modifier whether it's a public private or final depending on the use case that you are working on and this is the white is basically the the type of your um, method if you for example if you type it here a string then uh, you can see this here the method return must return a result type of type of string so depending on the type of you are using for your method it must must return that kind of thing so if you are using white, which means that we are not going to return anything, just a statement. In the statement. So now in this, uh, I'm just defining uh, any I statement. The animal makes sound, and then I'm going to create another class. Class that basically extends animal class say so it can use the method that are defined here but now what we are doing what we are basically doing we wanted to implement another behavior of this method inside our cat class which is the extended version of animal class It's like extend works in a way like if you extend any class, you can basically, when you create the instance of that particular class, you can basically have the ability to access the methods that are defined in this class. It's a kind of like import thing, but it's uh, just uh, the matter of fact that you wanted to reuse your code and organize your code a little bit better and manage it very efficiently. That's why this is a very useful trick. Okay, so here, for example, I'm just giving it another like the cat meows, meows, something like this. I don't know how to how to see this. It's like a, a sound like okay. And finally, you have another class class dog, so extends from animal class. And here I'm going to define the, the talk box like this. Okay, now let's see what we are, what happens when we create in different instances of all these classes. So let's see, start with the first class, animal class. Animal equals to new animal. Okay, then again we are using the animal class and we give it a cat and we are giving it a new cat. It's totally legit that you can use this kind of convention because here the cat class is basically extends animal class. That's how it inherits uh, the cats, uh, the animal class functionalities or methods so that we can use this kind of notation. Again, we are using another instance of ob uh, object animal. We give it a name dog, and it is like a new dog. Now, what happens when we animal dot make sound? Get dot make sound dog dot make sound and when I run this program you can see that even though we are like using the animal keyword here and we are getting creating the animal object but of uh, and then instance of for the, the cat object and the dog object 
we can have their specific implementation that is defined in this class objects and that's the, the output of the, your code so in this video we have learned how to uh, implement polymorphism in java uh, and we use two different examples the overloading examples as well as the overriding example it depends uh, which kind of implementation you wanted to use it's just better uh, like how you properly organize your code so that's all for this video be sure to like and subscribe this channel if you have any suggestions or questions feel free to write them in the comment section below and until then see you next time in the next video and enjoy your day bye bye